I've been living in America for over 50 years. So, and America been sending out the same signal to me since I was born. No justice for anybody that looks like me. Protect black women! Protect black women! Protect black women! I'm here today to make sure that you understand something, America. I'm, I'm ashamed of you, again. You heard what they said, Black Lives Matter. But the thing is important, why am I out here fighting for my human rights? But America, guess what? You didn't surprise me at all. You're the same America that you were uh, in 1865, when you emancipated black people, that you are today. We cannot let you keep murdering our kids, our family members, and keep getting away with it. A slap on the wrist. We already knew it because you start preparing, you start blocking stuff. You blocking the community, boarding up. We already knew that's guilt. We know you guilty. You will be arrested if you do not get out of the street. Um, said definitely um, that um, a police officer could be charged uh, for shooting bullets through her apartment, but not in her apartment. Brianna means so much to so many people because uh, I have a daughter that could be Brianna. I would like to see people in leadership, be it locally, county, city, and state leadership that actually care about the people that live in the state and in the city. We, if you and I walk into our house and we accidentally kill three people, rather the, whether the bullet went through a wall or something, we would be charged at a minimum with manslaughter. You're looking at the, the people and all the police out here, and if they can take this much time and this much of their resources to put down barricades and set up downtown for three days prior to the verdict, then they should have erred on that side and used that much of abundance of caution on a no-knock warrant, made sure that body cameras were installed, and the public has completely lost trust of the people that are supposed to protect and serve us. And not to mention, most of these people don't actually live in our neighborhood, so it's not as if these are my neighbors or I understand like, hey, Officer Cindy, or no. So I don't know what else people are supposed to do. Uh, my grandparents always said, you know, you keep on turning cheek after cheek, you're in an abusive relationship. So you tell me, what are people supposed to do when the people that are supposed to be publicly uh, uh, protecting and serving them aren't? What's our, no justice, no peace. So 
Breonna Taylor could be any of us. And, and the, the frustrating part of that I think most of us white, black, Hispanic realize is that like we can't live in a police state in the United States in 2020. Yeah. And we have to make police police departments and police unions liable when they when they mess up. And this time was a gross miscarriage of justice. I live on the street. I've lived here for almost 40 years. I lived through the Vietnam War, all the killings and things that have happened over all these years. I never would have thought this kind of thing would be in my neighborhood. I can sympathize and empathize with people who have lost so many, and I think it's just had enough. I'm afraid for our country. I'm afraid for what's going to happen after this election. Yeah. 